Roxy. She is really showing out. She's getting so long. This time I'm really growing my hair out, so don't hate me, but I'm really growing my hair out. I know I've said that a million and one times, but I wanna see how long I can grow my hair out. So I am coloring my hair. I need to wash my hair first because I had those twisting for like a little over a month and the product is just built up on my hair. I wanna get that out because I need the bleach to take. If you can tell, I had a sesh and it was a good one. <laughs> See, I went to Cosmoprof today and I got some fancy products. Um, I got the Schwartz <laughs> Professional. Um, I got the bleach and the developer. So you can obviously only get this at Cosmoprof. Um, I've never used this before, but it comes highly recommended. Um, but if you are attempting to color your own hair, you need to be consulting with a, a professional. I am not a professional consult with a professional before touching your hair um but if you don't care then you know you could get you could get this this is actually what i was gonna use before i went to cosmoprof today um you know old faithful you can get this down to the sally's down to the beauty supply store it's the clairol bw2 so you can see as you can see um my hair is you know she's giving auburn ginger um but i am going for i want to do a skunk stripe and i want it to be blonde and i'll insert my <laughs> i'll insert my inspo pics here and show you what i mean um but I am going to bleach the whole thing just a little bit around. But here I want it to be blonde and maybe just a little bit here, I think. I kind of maybe. Um, so I'm going to use the Schwarzkopf. I don't know how to say that. I'm just saying. Um, and it's the blonde bond enforcing premium lightener 9 plus dust free powder advanced neutralization up to nine level lift so if you can get your hands on this um i will let you know if you should um and then i got the developer that comes with it and this is the nine percent or 30 volume they had a deal um so i got a free conditioner this is a huge conditioner so I'm actually about to start putting this on my hair now with some water and some oil. I have also what I'm gonna be using is this melanin oil blend. Um, I'm gonna use that. I'm going to probably use this as a scalp cleanser and just kind of run it through my hair. I probably do need a clarifying shampoo, but We'll see because I don't have one. Y'all, look at Roxy. I love her. I'm 
trying to be very gentle. I'm brushing it on you. There are some snags down there. Look at that. Oh my boy. Okay, so I have washed and blow dried my hair and now it is time for me to process it. Yeah, I am gonna do that first. So I'm gonna section off my hair and figure out where it is I want the stripe. I'm kind of nervous. I think I said that the other day, I'm pretty nervous. Cause I ain't never done nothing like this before, but it is time, it is now or never. I think that's the spot. Okay, so here's the section. It's a pretty big section. I wonder if I should make it smaller. Let me look at my pictures. Yeah, I feel like they both have pretty big sections. Like, her section is pretty big and it looks like it kind of goes over in here. And she also has a section back here, which is super cute. Um, and her section looks about the size of mine too, so. So I was about to. Okay, so I was about to mix this up and I got a whiff of it. It smell, it even smells good. It doesn't smell like your typical bleach, um, which I love. Oh, and it comes with a cute um, dipper. Super cute. Um, I'm only going to do one of these scoops. The fact that it's 3 o'clock already. really really cute though I love this pink but that was not what I was going for so I actually don't know what I'm gonna do so I still need green to get this out and she gave me blue um, oh my god my hair my texture <laughs> I'm actually pretty sad about that but I did leave it on for about 30 minutes. Um, 
I was checking on it the entire time, but I did leave it on right at about 31 minutes or so. Um, so 30 minutes of 30 volume. I think it did really good. For it to go from this to this in 30 minutes, Hopefully the toner will do what I need it to do. Um, it'll work, it'll work, I got it. I've already put some of that conditioner on my hair and I'm just gonna put some of this melanin oil on there as well. It's really soft. <laughs> oh, also review of this conditioner. I love this conditioner. After I slept with the um, hot oil treatment on my hair overnight, and when I washed it out, I used the Mayel, and this is a moisturizing and detangling shampoo and I like this as well. I like the combination of the two. But I love that when I rinsed my hair, when I washed it and rinsed it out, it didn't feel stripped. It felt very hydrated. Um, so I, I really highly recommend. This conditioner is for blonde hair. So it is, it's literally the blonde, it's, it matches the bleach. So it's for color treated hair. I'll put some castor oil on my hair too. If you're an OG subscriber of my channel, then you remember the pink hair. So yeah, I'm gonna run down to the beauty supply store. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. I went to the store, the beauty supply store, and I got some Adore, and I got green apple. It was a tough call between this one and electric lime, but this is so light. I feel like this one is the equivalent, you know? Okay, this is what it looks like. It's electric. I it's electric. Lord knows, I hope this works. much and I'm gonna put it on top so this is what it looks like very much lavender And 
think I'll just do it all over and maybe it'll just go ahead and lift my roots so that I don't have to do a separate transaction for that. Okay, so I'm gonna dilute it with the scalp cleanser from Eden Body Works. Okay, so this will look like. that it didn't fall out um and that it's not shedding this conditioner is really good for bleached hair um i left this conditioner in overnight and i'm about to rinse it out and i'm gonna get started on the color because i am still i was gonna leave it but i want this I want all of this to blend like this is going good together because it kind of like all goes together but I still want to do the um the uh I don't, I don't even know how to explain the color I want to go for but here are the colors that I bought so I have French cognac and ginger from Adore um and i'm gonna mix those two together and we're gonna see what we get on top of this pink because it is kind of pink so <laughs> i am you know optimistic and i think it'll be cute you know i tested a sample of what it would look like against the pink and i thought it would be cute so we're gonna go for it because this pink is fire actually um so yeah we're gonna go for it um and i'm gonna go ahead and mix this up you know how i do you know how i do i am out of breath child okay so what i have used is in addition to the ones that I showed you. Okay, I gotta hurry up because the battery's gonna die. But I used a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of paprika and then I put some conditioner in it. And this is what it's giving! This is what it's giving! It looks really good. It, it's almost giving like gold, like metallic gold. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back before I... Um, finish and then I don't know what I'm saying I'll be back <laughs> all right y'all so I mean she's looking real cute or whatever um this color is exactly exactly what I was looking for okay 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 so I'm probably gonna leave this on for some hours honestly um It looks so cute with the pink. Like, I just can't believe it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this on for some hours. And I'll be back to let y'all know what it's giving. Adore, you got to give it some time for it to, like, set. Because what I don't want to do is rinse it out. 
because this color looks so good. I don't want to rinse it and then it come right out, you know? I want it to be stained in there a little bit. I still got some color in this bowl. I'm gonna try to saturate it as much as possible because I live. This looks so good. I'm actually really happy with these results. Well, so far. So far. No, let me speak that into existence. I'm really happy with it. I love it so much. It is amazing. It's the perfect color. It's exactly what I was going for. Um, uh, and my hair didn't come out. So, blessings. A win is a win. A win is a win. I don't care what you say. A win is a win. <laughs> The trick is to add, because y'all be asking me, <laughs> I do not mind questions, but y'all be asking me some crazy questions, like, how much of each did you use? I'm not measuring. I am not measuring when I put it in there. What I will say is, I used more, more. I, <laughs> what I will say is, I used the most ginger in my mixing bowl after that i used um maybe about maybe about three-fourths the amount that i used of the ginger so it's quite a bit of the french cognac in there as well but i did a dash of the paprika paprika um literally like a dime size amount and then for cinnamon, I used maybe a little more than a dime size amount. No type of red in those colors to me. Um, so the paprika kind of adds a little bit of the red to make it a little bit more spicy. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but somebody got it. You know what I mean? Mix it to your liking. Adding um, with a door, all of their colors are really dark coming out of the pack. At the pack, <laughs> coming out the bottle, they are very dark. So sometimes you can't see what the color is gonna look like. So if you add some, if you add some conditioner to it, you can see what the true color is gonna be. Now, don't add too much conditioner because it's gonna dilute the color quite a bit. So what I did was I diluted it. I put that color on my hair and I noticed that it was a little too diluted so I added more of the same mixture into the bowl and it was more color than it was conditioner. Conditioner is still good to add in there um, just a little bit because it kind of stretches your product. It's still going to color your hair but um, it's going to make the product stretch a little bit more so that you have more product. Um, basically so yeah um, I'm gonna let this sit on there Adore is a semi-permanent color for those who don't if you don't know that you probably shouldn't be coloring your hair um and no sh like I don't mean that in a rude way but like do your research you know um, Adore is not a permanent color so it's not going to um, I'm not gonna say it ain't gonna damage your hair but I've, I've never had any damage from it. It's pretty, pretty light on the chemical, I think. Um, or as far as damaging your hair, it's not gonna really damage your hair. Uh, all right, so I gotta go. I'm gonna let this sit. I feel like I've been talking too much. Um, this is what my hair look like. Um, yeah. I mean, look at the texture difference. <laughs> Alright guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm back with the color. And this is what it looks like. I am pretty obsessed. You know, the orange came out perfectly. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell. It's getting kind of dark. But the orange came out perfectly. Um, the pink looks really good next to it. So, in the next video, I'm going to style my hair. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for leaving me a sweet comment. I love y'all so much. And yeah, let me let me get to work. Y'all, this is how my hair turned out. I am so pleased. So, so, so pleased. It looks super cute, blended in, and styled. Oh my God. And I did this really cute, like, bleached brown makeup look. Um, but I'm going to post it on TikTok. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to see it on TikTok. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, this is how my nails turned out. Also, this tutorial is going to be on TikTok as well. So.